Hello, welcome back. I'm here, you're here, we're here. And today I'm going to be building a crescent moon pond with a little like fairy core forest vibe surrounding it. It's going to be real cute. I don't need to like over talk what I'm going to do. Real simple. Oh, I just noticed there's a little bee in the frame. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so we're just going to jump into it. Let me just like get up and then we can get started on this build. So I didn't really do like a walk around or whatever, but basically this is the area that is connected to the land bridge through the back way. Um, it was like a forest before. I just took all the trees down and I had like some cliffs and stuff here. I decided to flatten everything and I wanted to make enough room to have this giant lake inside my forest. So it's still gonna be like very tree heavy and stuff, but I wanted to have a little bit more visual interest than just like trees everywhere. So the way I came up with the shape of the pond, I literally just Googled a C and H crescent pond and hoped that someone else had like made a reference picture for it. And someone by the name of loveless underscore DS on Instagram actually has a tile by tile picture of how to map out a crescent moon lake. I don't have the actual post that they made, but I can link their Instagram for sure down below because it's super cute anyway. But yeah, it was really helpful trying to figure out like where the curves are going to be and stuff. I used it as like a base reference and then I just changed it up as I went to match what my area looked like. So after a lot of struggling, I'm finally at the part where I fill in the lake and finalize the shape. It took me a lot longer than it needed to just because I was making it a lot more complicated. I couldn't stick to just making the outline or just filling in or just fixing the shape because my brain cannot calm down for two seconds. So yeah, it looks a little more complicated than it really is. If you need a tutorial on making a pond or something, don't listen to me. That's not what this is. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm just gonna finish up the outside and then I'll go in and fix that island and then we can get to decorating. So as far as decorating, you already know the drill. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just literally start slapping everything down, just figuring out like what looks cute. Only thing I have in mind when I'm doing this is that I want it to be a forest. And that's as far as my brain goes. So all of this is just me winging it, throwing stuff down, just seeing what fits, what looks cute. I don't even have like full pockets yet. So I have to go back and forth from my house to here and just figure out what works and what doesn't work.
so as I was doing this build, I was realizing like, damn, I literally don't have any flowers. Like I ran out pretty fast and I already knew that I wasn't going to have that many because I'm hoarding my pink hyacinths for a big meadow that I'm trying to build later on. But like any other flower variety, I have none in pink. So I've been desperately trying to trade on AC Fan and Twitter and it's been helping a little bit, but I keep running out of flowers and it's such a hassle to breed them myself like I don't like doing it I don't have the space for it or the patience or like the dedication to be logging on every day to water and also none of my friends really play anymore either so they don't water my flowers for me it's just like a hassle all around to keep up with this flower situation but once I'm able to have more flowers they'll be able to fill up all the weird empty spaces that I end up with at the end of this and throughout my island also So I haven't really been playing a lot lately. I've just been really busy with like real life stuff for a while, probably since like my last video was the last time I played. I haven't been able to like enjoy all the new updates. I didn't even get to play Bunny Day, which I know everybody hates anyway, but they have like really cute items this year and I don't have any of them. The only thing I do have is if you look up there, Miss Etoile's house is up there and there's some like Kiki and Lala stuff up there too. She's the only Sanrio villager that I've gotten so far, but I do want like all the items at least and I definitely want Chai for sure. So eventually I'll be able to have like all that stuff once I'm able to sit down and play again. It's just probably going to be a while.
not me picking the flower on accident. So here we are, everything is finally finished. We are at the entrance to the little forest in cherry blossom season, like we have been the entire video. I don't know what you're talking about. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started with this walkthrough. Okay, so as you can see, we're walking away from the land bridge and to the left here is just a little like outdoor bath area. I'm like super pissed because for some reason this got cut out of my footage. I definitely remember filming it. I know it's not the point of this build, but it's like low key my favorite spot. It's just so cute. I love it. And then you walk forward a little more and you're going past the crescent moon pool on the right of us. And straight ahead is where Atoll's like treehouse thing is gonna be whenever I get around to fixing it. And then you keep going across and we have all these cute little flowers. Let's just pretend that that Cosmo is fully grown in. Mind your business. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna go in this area yet. I'm not really worried about it. So I just left it pretty empty. It's whatever's gonna happen, it's fine. And then when you walk to the middle of the pond, there's just a cute little seating area next to the moon where you can just chill, bask in the moonlight, just vibe, whatever. <laughs> And then as you go around towards the bottom of the pool, there's just like more vegetation, I guess. Um, I really, really love the mush cushion. It's so precious. It's one of my favorite items in the game. I feel like I say that about everything, but it's true. And yeah, as you keep walking around, you go past more trees and then it leads you back towards the entrance where the land bridge is. Come full circle. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit every button possible, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the views. Bye.